So in June 2021, I released this video showing you guys that I had just built my very first mining rig. And thank you to everyone that watched that video as it had a huge response on YouTube. Lots of like, lots of new subscribers, so thank you. But a week ago, just 10 months later, I tweeted that I was selling the very same mining rig. So what is happening? I thought it would be fair to make a video for you guys to talk you through why I've come to this decision, the three main reasons why I've decided to sell the mining rig, and also talk you through what happened, the profitability, how much Bitcoin have I managed to mine or how much Bitcoin have I earned over the past 10 months, and go through the key areas why I've decided to sell my mining rig. So you can see here, the rig is currently still active. We're mining just under 193 mega hash per second, uh, less than a kilowatt of power. So this doesn't use much energy at all. It's really low heat and it has been super reliable. I think I've been mining around about 10 months now and I haven't had any downtime from a hardware perspective. The only maintenance I need to do is log in once per month, do all of the Windows updates because you can't delay them for more than a month restart the system and away we go for another month. So it's been really easy to maintain. Now some people prefer not to use Windows to mining rig and I completely understand it. I just stuck with Windows and I know Windows inside out, it was free and it was very easy to set up and plus I use NiceHash as well. So it's very easy interface for me to use with those two together. But you can see here, I've got my six GPUs running and they've been running really, really reliably. And I'm gonna show you the earnings report from the day that I started mining. So let's go over here. Actually, just before I do, just take a quick note of this profitability at the moment. So I'm generating around about seven pound of Bitcoin at the moment. I'm gonna come back to that later in the video. But here we are, this is the report that I generated earlier. So you can see April the 4th, 2022. Let's bring up the report. And this shows every single mining payment that NiceHash has generated minus the fee they charge me for being effectively the service provider doing the mining for me. So let's scroll down and see what the total is at the bottom. You can see here the start date, the main start date was the 27th of May, 2021. These two here on the 11th, that was me testing on my main workstation to ensure that NiceHash actually works. So I did the testing with, oh, that's interesting, bought all of the parts and a couple of weeks later started mining for real. And if I scroll through that slowly, you'll probably see that every single day I've been mining for the past 10 months or so. But let's jump all the way to the bottoms because you guys only really care about one figure and that is how much I've made overall over the past 10 months. So here we are. In total, I've been paid out 0.0777-3877 of Bitcoin, which at the time of mining, because this is how this report works, was worth £2,545. So this is in GBP, it's not in USD. However, that is not the current value as Bitcoin value fluctuates all the time. So based on the current value, and if we go back to NiceHash here, it will show us. So these figures here are based on uh, GBP at £35,177 for one BTC. So if we come back to the report, we pop up the calculator. Let's make sure you guys can see this. Pop it over there. So we pop in, that is what uh, Bitcoin is in GBP at the moment. So we multiply that by 0 0.0. 7773877. So the current value of all of the Bitcoin that I've mined so far is around £2,734. So I'm quite happy with that value and I plan to hold this long term. So I think long term it will be a very, very good investment. Even if at the moment, I'm technically not still at break even purely from a mining perspective. But if I do sell my mining rig, I'll be comfortably in profit. But long term, I am optimistic or should I say hopeful that Bitcoin will go up. Um, and I think a lot of people agree with that. That's why we're all in this space, let's be honest. So that is the total that I currently own in Bitcoin from mining on the rig alone. So I'm quite happy with that. So why am I deciding to stop mining? Well, there's three reasons that I wanna share with you guys. And I think they all carry important, but there is one that for me is the deal breaker. So I'll come to that last. So up first, we have energy costs now. Probably wherever you are in the world, you would have seen some type of energy price, and this will vary from everyone depending on where you're from and also the provider you're with. This is in the UK, and this is one of the more competitive energy providers in the UK at the moment, but the government does have a price cap. So a lot of people are paying similar prices at the moment because pretty much every deal out there is based on the price cap as an absolute minimum. So you can see here, these are the current cost for electricity. This is what I wanna focus on here. This is the kilowatt hour charge, so just under 30p. 
So if we go back to nice hash, you can see my rig uses 469 watts um, per hour. So if we go back to Octopus Energy, who is my energy provider, let's do the maths here. I'll bring the calculator over so you guys can see it. So was it 0.46, actually let's do it easily. Let's just say 0.5 kilowatts that covers any overheads times by 24. So using roughly 12 kilowatt hours per day. And if we times that by, let's say 30p, as that will then cover in most of the day charge as well, but that's I'm going to be paying that anyway for my actual household electricity. But to keep the figures nice and round, we we'll times that by 0.30. So I'm spending around three pound sixty on electricity per day, which sounds about right as I allocate about hundred pound um, for mining in my uh, budgeting per month. So generating around three pound sixty in energy usage, but like I say, it's still profitable at the moment. I'm generating around seven pounds in Bitcoin per day. So it's still profitable to mine. So why am I stopping, despite the fact energy costs have gone up, it's still profitable? Well, the first thing is because the availability of graphics cards, and you can see here, this is the dotted blue line, is starting to increase. And this is largely because of the final factor, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. But because the availability of graphics cards is starting to increase, as you'd expect, the retail price of them is starting to decrease. So we're coming back down more towards what their retail price should actually be. And this is also reflected in the used prices as well. So these images that I'm gonna show you here, these are the eBay used prices. So these are for all of the Nvidia or Nvidia, however you wanna say it, range of graphics cards. You can see here, they have been coming down pretty much, I would say since November, December time at the end of last year was when they last went back up. Um, the more expensive ones are coming down faster. We can see here, even the cheaper ones are starting to come down as well. So let me just show you the AMD ones as well, because it's not just Nvidia, it's AMD as well. They are starting to decrease in price as well. So what you have to keep in mind is that you've got the depreciating cost of hardware is accelerating, whilst the amount of money you are making is reducing. So I'm making three pound in profit per day, but I'm probably losing that per day in hardware depreciations. Whereas a few months ago, GPUs were appreciating and going up. So this is why I've made the decision because I don't think things are gonna change. Despite all of the talk about shortages and microchip shortages, the thing that is ultimately driving this down for me is the merge. So the merge is when Ethereum, which is the main cryptocurrency that I've been mining for the past 10 months, that is when uh, Ethereum moves from proof of work, i.e. mining, to proof of stake. And at that point, mining Ethereum is basically gonna be pointless. It's gonna be so difficult that it will not be profitable. That's if you can even mine it in the first place. So the merge is basically gonna kill Ethereum mining. Now there are other coins at the moment that are profitable to mine, but they only have a small percentage of the available hash rate from all of the people that are out there mining. When Ethereum stops, you've got all of the hash rate that's focused on Ethereum. If that redirects to those smaller coins, the returns are gonna be pretty much worthless. So at the moment, as you can see here, the merge, if we just read through the main bullet points here, eventually the current Ethereum mainnet will merge with the beacon chain proof of stake system. This will mark the end of proof of work mining for Ethereum and the full transition to proof of stake. And you can see here, it's scheduled for Q2 2022. Now we are in April 2022, so we've just started Q2. Now, realistically, based on Ethereum's track record, are they gonna deliver this in Q2 2022? I would be surprised if they did. If they do do it, I think it will be very late Q2, um, but my gut feel at the earliest is maybe August, September time. But again, we don't know what Ethereum are up to behind closed doors. So although it's still profitable at the moment, people are fully aware the merge is coming. They're fully aware that the returns are gonna keep going down. And that is why GPU prices are dropping. So for me, it makes sense to get out now, sacrifice those last few months of potential profitability from mining, which I'll hopefully will make back from saving in the depreciating hardware costs. So that's why I've made the decision to stop mining. I've enjoyed doing this whole thing. It's been a really good experience sharing it with you guys. Um, but it's got to the point now, well, there's not much benefit now to focus heavily on mining going forward. So as with a lot of my recent videos, I'm gonna be focusing on crypto and NFTs as I still find it all massively interesting. But for mining, 
I don't think it's worth me focusing lots of time on that anymore because long term, I don't think traditional mining, GPU mining has got the legs that it's had for the past few years. So that's why I've decided to sell my mining rig. If you want to talk to me or even if you're interested in buying the mining rig, you're probably not after watching this video, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Darren the DGen. That is the best place to interact with me. Don't bother commenting below because the spam bots on anything mining related on YouTube gets absolutely destroyed with spam comments. So don't bother commenting below, but you can scroll down and hit that like button. And if you wanna see more from me, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.